Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me. This is Dali Rivera, the creator of the Diversity and Anti-Bullying Academy. And today I'm joined by, by my lovely daughter, <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> right, Jessica. So we are doing this joint video because we want to talk about something pretty special, right? Mm -hmm. And that is International Women's Day. Um, a lot of people don't know what this day is about. Do you know? Uh, celebrating like all the women who like have like, done amazing things yeah, and like, and yeah. it's actually um a day to celebrate the women that are currently doing a lot of things and that includes you did you know that yeah, <laughs> yeah. no i didn't actually yeah <laughs> actually it does um just if you are striving to be better if you're striving to do something really great in the world to help people it's a day to celebrate you it's a day to celebrate your strengths and the uniqueness that it is to be a woman and uh it is also a day to create awareness about the ways that women um are changing the world and how you can help women continue to do that so there are many different ways that we do that and that is sometimes through our jobs and it always starts from self did you know that just trying to better yourself is how you improve the world. It's not really about uh, always having to go out to a, a society or a group of people and teaching them to do something or helping them do something better. It always starts from home. It because starts with every if individual. You, if you like try to improve things that you do, then it can get like out there and then people will want to do that as well and you can make the world a better place. Like if you're cleaning up trash, and then you show people that like how not clean like the air our areas are then they will want to start cleaning up because the environment needs to be clean yeah and you can do that at a very small scale for example if you're in a classroom where it's constant constantly junky or loud and nobody ever says hey stop let's not do this uh then most most likely uh it you'll will. always have that right but as soon as somebody steps up and, and says let's clean up a little bit you kind of apply that positive pressure right to your yeah. friends and then everybody joins in and they start doing the right thing so it's very very easy so jessica you have something that you want to share right rosie revere's engineer this book is about a girl who wanted who her mom wanted her to be very sophisticated and didn't want her to mess around and like be an engineer but every time at school during lunch she would go and she would get like pieces in the trash and she would build different things and show them off and she showed them to a guy but he didn't like the f he didn't think that she was going to become an engineer that she just liked to build things and she became to be became to grow up to be an engineer so yeah so the story really is about a little girl who takes trash and makes wonderful things out of it right mm -hmm. and it is let's see what grade level would you say this is mm, i'd mm -hmm. say maybe let's look at the words real quick because <laughs> i think definitely elementary school yeah um, I think, yeah, for early readers, if they're really good readers. Um, yeah, they do have pretty easy words. Right, and the pictures are pretty cool. They're um, entertaining mm -hmm. just to, you know, help tell the story. But what's really cool about this is that this book subtly talks about gender expectations. Do you know what that is? Um, Things that, like, expectations? Yeah. Things that you want to happen yeah, that you expect, right, mm -hmm. out of girls. Yeah, so when we talk about gender, we're talking about, you know, people who are um, identifying as heterosexual or gay or queer or just, you know, all genders, not just um, people that identify as man or woman or boy or girl. So that is a real thing, right, mm -hmm. because you see sometimes or you hear some things that people say regarding certain genders yeah do you can, do you have an example right on the top of your head um like if you say 
uh, blue is like a boy color. Like I person, I like the color blue. I think it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then like some boys, they like the color pink, and that's okay. Right. It doesn't mean like you're gay or you're or that you're not or that you're not the gender like, that you the, are. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, means, right. it just means that you like the color. Like right. So that's something that I have been told by adults that teaching kids what gender expectations is, is too difficult to teach them. Do you think that that's true? Um, I don't, I think it may be a little difficult, but it's like, okay, like you have to teach them that right. it's okay to like something that most girls use instead, like or like they would. Right. So teaching kids, I think it comes down to the type of examples that you give them. Like for example, when you were very, very little, I started teaching you about gender expectations without saying the word gender expectations. I just uh, remember telling you, you can do anything regardless of what others think. And you don't have to play with pink toys and you don't have to play dress up or makeup or. Yeah, know. like as a, as a little kid, Nadia would always like, we would, Nadia and I would always dress up and she would always make me be the prince and her be the princess and i think i just got used to that and i don't want to be this like prissy pink princess that like you know i, I don't Which think is, i wanted to be that right. and then once she let me be the princess and i was like i don't want to be the princess mm -hmm. so. so you like going against the grain yeah because you you see it so much Although you also do like dressing up and that's fine. Yeah, like I, I like dressing nicely mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah, doing your nails, putting a little bit of makeup on and all that. But you also don't want to be stuck with, with that yeah. image all the time just because you happen to be a girl, right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's see, what other things can we talk about for, about International Women's Day? Um, there w This uh, has to go with the gender... What, what was it called? Gender expectations. Gender expectations. Mm -hmm. Um, I was on scrolling through YouTube, and I saw a video that was the opposite, and it was saying that in this like gen or like world, that the girls could only dress in like from the boy section, and hmm. the boys could only dress from the girl section. And uh, this girl that she didn't like that. And she didn't want to act like that because that's how, like, so say I'm a girl and I don't want to act like a girl and I don't want to paint my nails and I don't want to dress up and I want to wear clothes that most boys wear. Mm -hmm. And that's how she, she wanted to dress up very nicely. And so her mom didn't want her to do that. So she made sure that she never got any of those things. But she, uh... I think it showed that she was like painting her nails and then she went out to her school like that and everyone was judging her and then she she was trying out for the drama class and people didn't like that either mm -hmm. and then she did it again she just kept on going and she didn't care what anyone thought and then everyone started being like her yeah, yeah I thought it was a very good video and I was gonna send it to you but then I guess I forgot well, that's, I think it takes a lot of courage for you to go against the grain, to go against the beliefs that society always expects you to follow, right? Yeah. And I think that that's why we love so many famous artists that do something totally opposite. And one of the um, artists that always pops into my head, that always goes against the grain, is Lady Gaga. Because she uses these weird costumes she um she just does things that you know people don't expect and she mm -hmm. uses creativity and some people think that she's crazy but i think she's brilliant i mean mm -hmm. to be able and, and i think she's very courageous too because she knows she's going to be judged yeah she, but she still mm -hmm. does it anyway yeah and she's so good at it she makes it really really cool and mesmerizing that i mean sometimes i watch a video over and over and over just because I like seeing what's going on in the background rather than her you know because mm -hmm. yeah you can always see her outfits and, and well but what I also love about her is that she has used her voice um, to stand up against bullying yeah and discrimination and she has talked about the privilege that she has as a white 
woman. And I think it's amazing that she uses that platform that she has to talk to others about these problems that affect everybody, regardless of yeah. who you are. Yeah. It just shows that you can do whatever you want, no matter if someone mm -hmm. judges you, because she just keeps on going. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really cool. The other thing is um, that people think that here in the United States, that women have full equality. What do you think about that? Um, I think, well, I, okay. Uh, okay, what does e equality means like? Equal that, rights. Yeah, equal rights, just like a man of, you know, any man that we all have equality, not just women, but everybody. I agree with that. I think that you everyone do. has the right to do whatever they want, as long as it's not like against the law. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, obviously, it's like not against the law to act like, like, not the people's expectations, because you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Because we all have rights. Yeah, we all have rights. I think that the difference is that not all of us have the right to exercise or the the real true. Um, privilege of exercising those rights and I'll give you an example uh, women do not have equal pay they do not get paid the same amount as men for doing the same job and I think I that, actually didn't know that. yeah exactly so I think that a lot of people don't know uh, because a lot of young people don't know until they enter the workforce because that's when you find out, like, hey, wait a minute, I'm doing the same thing that he's doing uh, or that she's doing, but I'm not getting paid the same. And the other thing is that uh, you're going to hear a lot, women get paid 70 cents to the dollar of men, right? So a man will get his full dollar, women will make 70 cents. Um, but that's white women. As you keep looking at different demographics of black women and Latinas, it gets lower and lower. Latinas were at 56 cents. So it's just over 50 cents, you know, compared to men. Yeah. And so that's what we talk, uh, that's what I refer to, um, you know, when we're talking about equal rights. Do we have equal rights? Well, technically we're supposed to, but there are many, many things that go on that that don't yeah, allow yeah. us to because well yeah right now here in the united states the place where you can make all your dreams come true you have the ability to work really 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 hard to get to the very top but the problem is the mentality of how we see men and women as leaders one of the mm -hmm. recent things that i think we talked about a while back when i read the study was that um the study revealed that there were about 70 percent of men american men who were surveyed they were asked how, um do you feel confident that a woman would be able to lead the country and they said no but then women were asked the same question and can you guess how many women thought that women could lead 25 percent it was actually a little more so it was about 50 uh 56 percent Mm -hmm. women thought that women could not lead so that comes to show that even women have been taught or you know trained mentally that we're not yeah. supposed to yeah. lead yeah. and it's really sad yeah and my number could be a little bit off like i can't remember if it's 56 or a little higher but that's what today is about, well, tomorrow, the tomorrow, 8th, yeah. March 8th, International Women's Day is about, is to bring awareness to these problems. And everything starts at home. So if you start doing things like reading books that show that women can do things and girls can do things that normally boys do or that are, are known to do, mm -hmm. um, you can change that mindset. And International Women's Day is not just to talk about this with other women is to talk, to talk, talk about, about this. With everyone. Yeah, to everyone. Everyone mm -hmm. knows. Yeah, I mean, we are pretty awesome. We create life. We also raise those lives. And they go to become presidents and athletes and Olympic winners and um, scientists. Overall, great people. Exactly. So I think that it's kind of 
underestimated the power that we have to be able to do certain things. So I don't think that it's fair for us to be limited, to be told, okay, well, yeah, you can technically have that CEO job, but we really don't think that you can lead that well. So we're going to give it to this guy. This person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Anything else you want to talk about? Um, not that I can think of. <laughs> yeah. So um, one of the things that I like to share for awareness uh, is a movie, two movies, okay? Um, I believe they're on Netflix or Hulu. One of them is called uh, Misrepresentation. And it was created many years ago by um, Mrs. Newsom, who happens to be the wife of our current governor in California, Gavin Newsom. Uh, uh, his wife, she is a film uh, producer and director, and she created Misrepresentation. And this movie is like a, a really great documentary that shows different aspects of a little bit of what we're, we have been talking about, mm -hmm. but she has way more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course, does it in a very entertaining way. So if you have some time this week or this month, whenever, uh, take a look at that film it's really really good i think you can also find it on youtube that actually reminds me of the movie mulan because they don't think that a girl could go into war but then she changes herself to look like to a boy her place like right for her dad and the thing too is that that actually has happened in real life many many times all the way back from our um civil revolution uh the civil war and uh deborah what is her name deborah i can't remember her last name, but uh, Samson is one of them. Um, she dressed as a man for a long time. She also was wounded, which is how they found out that she was not really a, a man. Mm -hmm. She was wounded and the doctor had to check her and, uh, you know, had to open her wrist because she got shot on her yeah. upper body. And they found out that she was, that was a girl, <laughs> mm -hmm. a young lady. Um, let's see what else. There was, uh, there was something I was going to say, and I totally forgot now. Anyway, so have these conversations. Watch uh, Tough Guys. I mean, that's the other one. Never mind. Misrepresentation. Also, if you want to watch another movie, try Iron Jawed Angels. It's with um, uh, Hilary Swank, and it's very good. And that movie talks a bit about the sacrifices that the suffragists that women uh, in the early 1900s had to go through in order for us to have the right to vote because uh, women were deemed not smart enough or to not know better. So the men would go and vote even when they were, <laughs> when they were uh, finally granted the vote, men used to tell them how to vote. So they really didn't, Still Actually, use their yeah. own voice and now we can now you know uh, we have all these checks in place where you know you uh, I mean I guess technically today people could do that but it's not as seen as much because now women are more I guess courageous to speak up for themselves yeah mm -hmm. so yeah so jaw to iron angels by uh, with Hillary Swank and misrepresentation check them out um, also, don't forget to use your library to check out movies for free. So if you can't find them on Hulu or Netflix, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube, but yeah. And also don't forget that there's also, uh, way more dog shelters in America than shelters for homeless women and battered women, which is really sad. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things that you can do this month. You can donate, um, hygiene products to shelters my school yeah. recently for the canned fruit mm -hmm. drive um when i had first gotten to you know my work the way through mm -hmm. um we were we we got i think more than a thousand cans from mm -hmm. each class or like combined each classroom and a couple the ladies homeless home shelter mm -hmm. took them all that's awesome and yeah yeah they always need them and also baby clothes because these people that are, you know, these ladies sometimes have children with them. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't really hear that 
uh, too much about that, but there are actually a lot of shelters that do not take children. So what does that mean for women who have little babies or little children with them, you know? Yes. They end up having to either mm-hmm. couch surf or just stay in very unsafe places. And also, you know, you can volunteer to tutor uh, girls who are falling behind because for whatever reason, you can also volunteer at the um, shelter hotlines or the suicide hotline. You can donate pretty much anything, whether it's money, items, uh, also, clothing. yeah, clothing, even uh, houseware stuff, because some of them, they finally make it out of the shelter and get their own place, so they have to start from scratch, right? So they need yeah. pots and pans and toilet brushes and mops and you know, dust pans and couches, chairs, tables, forks, I mean, curtains, everything. So if you have a lot of stuff, you know, try to find a place that will take those items for a person who is finally going into their own, their new home yeah. uh, to help them out. Because we live in a, a society where we have an abundance of things. There, We shop for things that we really don't need. So if you're decluttering, consider donating mm-hmm. these things instead of throwing them away because it just goes into the landfill. And, yeah, and then... Mm-hmm. It doesn't go to whatever you use to put back onto it. Right. Yeah. Thank you for this. I really like it. You're welcome. Yeah. Also, support female business owners, please. And you know, if you have a friend who's starting a business, uh, instead of asking, "Hey, how can you hook me up?" or "Can I get the hook up?" Help them. Help them. Yeah, yeah. because they're trying to make it. Mm-hmm. So instead of asking for something for free, instead give them something. Mm-hmm. Whether it's a membership to their host site or just 20 bucks. I mean, it doesn't have to be a lot. Just show yeah, just your support whatever it is mm-hmm. help. or a student that's going to college, especially if she dared to go into one of those fields where she's the only female, you know, ask her, you know, like, can I uh, pay for your books or can I pay for a book because it's so expensive and, or, you know, or give them a Uber Lyft, a gift card so they can go to school and you know or to work um there's so many things you can do and a lot of it also does not require a ton of money sometimes just simply offering to babysit somebody's kid so that she can go to college or to graduate high school that yeah, goes helps. a long yeah. way yeah yeah because it truly takes a village to help you know, a society or a community rise up. All right. Thank you, everybody. I hope that you really enjoyed some of the tips that we talked about and uh, some of the examples that we gave. And thank you so much for being here. I love you. (laughs) Okay. So uh, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please click like, do your thing. Uh, and we'll, okay, I'm going to redo that. I'm sorry. Yeah. So if you like the video, give it a uh, thumbs up and um comment down below anything that you think we missed maybe um tomorrow we could talk about it but not post it tomorrow because we are busy (laughs) um and we'll see you guys in the next one bye thank you bye-bye